Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing and teaching you about one of the most, if not the most, important aspect of the game, farming, or last hitting. So what is farming? Farming is the act of last hitting minions to gain gold. Experience is gained from being near, but to get money you have to actually kill it. You win lane by essentially outfarming your opponent, thus allowing you to scale faster than your direct lane opponent and have more impact in the game. It's hard to put into words how important farming or last hitting actually is, but take this as an example. If you are 0-2-0 with 120 farm and your lane opponent is 2-0-0, so he beats you twice, but with only 60 farm, you are stronger because your 60 CS advantage trumps the two kills he's got over you. Why is that? Essentially, 20 CS is equal to a kill in terms of gold advantage. A kill will grant you 300 gold, but 19 CS, that's three early game waves, is equivalent to 378 gold. Let's do the math on this one so it becomes a little bit easier. The first and second waves consist of three melee and three caster minions. The third one still has these, in addition to a siege minion. Melee minions are worth 20 base gold plus 0.2 additional gold every third wave. Caster minions are worth 17 base gold plus 0.2 additional gold every third wave as well. And siege minions are worth a whopping 45 gold plus 0.5 additional gold every third wave. This means that you hitting that siege gold is the equivalent of getting a one-sixth of a kill. Make sure you do that, they're free. So, there are a few strategies for controlling your last hitting in lane. You can push out and keep bidding those minions up all the time to try to push the wave into your opponent's tower, thus making him or her lose some CS to the tower and giving you an advantage. But the price to pay for that strategy is that you will be a lot more vulnerable to ganks. On the other hand, you can focus solely on last hitting minions to allow the wave to come under your tower and be safe from ganks. This is however hard for some champions who don't have the right skill set to farm under tower. How do you farm under tower? So, melee minions will take two hits from the tower and then will become one hit away from death. Whereas caster minions will take one hit from the tower and if they take a second one they'll die. So you'll have to auto them once before the tower hits them and auto them again after the tower hits them. As you might imagine, this is not very easy for some mage champions in the mid lane who don't have the attack speed to hit the caster twice between the turret shot. So you'll have to hit some abilities to help you farm under tower. Ezreal has to push the wave, otherwise he'll have some real mana issues a few waves after farming under tower. Annie, however, has her Q to last hit under tower in addition to her auto attack and her W also doesn't require that much mana. Being an immobile champion, farming under tower might not be such a bad idea for any. The final strategy revolves around the act of freezing the lane, about which I will make a whole separate video dedicated solely to wave management. In short, freezing is the act of keeping the wave close to your tower, but not really under it, whilst preventing your opponent from farming or forcing him to come too far forward and be susceptible to ganks. You can see a chart for the perfect CS at any given minutes of the game. What you should take from it is the number of possible CS at the 10th, 15th and 20th minute marks. That's 114 at 10 minutes, 177 at 15 minutes and 240 at 20 minutes. Obviously, these are unachievable marks. Not even the pros have this CS at those minutes. But it should give you an idea of what you should be aiming for. And that is... 75% of what is given. So if there's 114 minions for you to hit at the 10th minute mark, aim to get 85 of those. Conversely, that's 130 at the 15th minute mark and 180 at 20 minutes. Why should you aim for 75% only and not say 90%? That's because there are a lot of other factors surrounding your last hitting that will definitely prevent you from getting perfect CS at any given minute after the 10th minute mark. And that's enemy pressure, trading, roaming, backing, etc. 
Why don't I give you goals after the 20th minute mark? That's because farming is especially important in the early game. After that, the team fighting phase will begin and it will be a lot harder and less profitable to farm safely. Plus, you will definitely be missed by your team if they're fighting. So for the first 20 minutes, be sure to make most out of last hitting. And then, go and shove your goal advantage up your opponent. After all of this information, let's check out how you can improve your last hitting. There's a very good training method recommended by a lot of people, mostly because of the good results it provides. Create a custom game and select your main, the character with whom you want to improve your last hitting. Make sure you empty out a rune page and a mastery page and select those. In game, you will buy no items. Then go to the mid lane and only last hit minions. Do this for 15 minutes and then make a note of how much you've achieved and exit the game. Then go to this website and check your stats out. By practicing without any type of add-on coming from runes, masteries or items, you will notice a huge spike in your CS when you actually get those in a normal game. Also, a strategy used before was to input a bot to annoy you while you try to CS in a custom. But you can no longer do that with this legacy bitch ass menu. If you want to put a bot, you'll have to downgrade. Thanks, Riot. If you practice this way three times every day for a week, I can guarantee you that you will see results very soon. Let's go for the objectives so that you have a mindset of what you want to achieve. 0 to 10. What's CS? 20. 25% of the possible CS. 30. 40% of the possible CS. 40. 50% of the possible CS. 50. 60% of the possible CS. 60. 70% of the possible CS. 70. 80% of the possible CS. 80. 85% of the possible CS. 90. 90% of the possible CS. And 100? No, it's not 100% of the possible CS. It's 95, because as I said earlier, 100% is unachievable. Don't aim for it. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. It was a really important video. If you can share this so that other people are aware of the importance of farming and last hitting, I would really appreciate that. It would help me a lot. But I need to thank you again for your support. Once again, I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Sake us out.